Welcome to episode 10 of Old Faithful, your favorite guitar show. I'm Matt Trask, the host of my Thanks to Perfect Wave Productions and the Holiday Spirit here. And this is the week, going to air the week between the holidays, Perfect. Christmas and New Year. Um, so we have a tree. Thanks to Olivia at Black Hills Blend. How's your surprise, surprise it's Brandon? Good. This it's is really good. good. Yeah. And my thanks to the the guest this week, Mr. The Man Who Needs No Introduction, but we're gonna give him one anyway. Mr. Brandon Jones, thank you for thank coming you. on the show. Thank you, thank you for having me. Yeah. This, this show is about guitars, 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 but we'll take a moment. You had yeah. a very big year, didn't you? Yeah, we had a good year. We released an album. We've got a new trailer, thanks to Blake's trailer sales. I got married. Yeah. I got married in June. and uh, Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I'm pretty lucky. Um, yeah. Very lucky. And uh, and then I started a new job in August where I work at Home Slice, um, not just as an artist, but now I get to do the morning show on Cat Country 98.7 with Amy. Wow. In so, house. internet land, if you're thinking, boy, this Brandon Jones fella, I can't get enough of him. Five mm -hmm. days a week in That's the morning. That's right. From you, 6 to 10. Your best buddy yep. here, Brandon Jones That's on right. Cat Country 98.7 right here in I'm that guy. And my dad always told me I had a face for radios. You can find the band at Brandon Jones Band okay. on Facebook. You can go to Brandon Jones Roadhouse, okay. Cat Country, and find me there. Well, I've only really been in my own band. Uh, okay. uh, when I started the band, it was just called The Thirsty Fish. And then after we played for a while, members coming in and out, uh, uh, radio advertised me as Brandon Jones and the Thirsty Fish. Uh, mm -hmm. I had sang in a singing competition, and so they knew they knew me as a as Brandon Jones, and then they didn't think anybody knew the band, so they thought they'd advertise them together and put Brandon Jones and the Thirsty Fish. Well, then the rest of the band liked it, so we went with Brandon Jones and the Thirsty Fish after that, and then when we got uh, hooked up with Home Slice, then we decided to, to just drop the Thirsty Fish and go with Brandon Jones. Were the fish thirsty because you drank all the beer? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. I actually thought of it as a, it was more of a, like a thirsty fish doesn't make sense. You've got, you've got everything you need around you, but they still want more. I was driving by a pond and I mentioned it to my ex-wife. And this is when I knew it was a keeper. As I said, thirsty fish, that'd be a good band name. And she said, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I was like, we got a keeper. We got a keeper. So, no. <laughs> well, pardon the pun, that's deep. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. Deep. Yeah. Well, and, and a lot of people just took it as a drinking reference, you know, right. like, oh, drinking, yeah, thirsty fish, oh, I get it. And it worked well. So you mentioned this the innate desire that you had. Did yeah. you always want to be an entertainer? Were you like a Man, class clown type I, of person? I was. What I struggled with, what I struggled with was being mature. And I knew I had a good voice, but I didn't know. I mean, I felt like I did to myself, and uh, <laughs> which doesn't mean much. <laughs> so in the beginning, I, I imagine there were a few appearances you did all by yourself. Was that, mm -hmm. and for internet land, if you have not seen this man, he may have an equal, he doesn't have a better as an entertainer. Yeah. Were you that way from the first time you walked on stage? Not really. I mean, I, I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, I when the first time we took stage, I could, I, I've always been, I was really nervous. The, the musicians were all talented, but I mean, I didn't know what I was doing. But from the beginning, when you walked off stage, you wanted to get back on the stage. Oh, yeah, for possible. sure. Oh, for sure, yeah, always. It was even singing karaoke before I had a band. Okay. It was like, man, I really like that. You know, every, when we're all sitting together, where should we go tonight? It'd be like... Nerd Joe says karaoke. <laughs> Before we get to this guitar, what was your go-to karaoke jam? Brandon mm -hmm. Jones, we have to know this. Well, so a lot of times what would happen inside the karaoke world is I would get signed up for random songs. Oh, okay. So the, the go-to that they would always sign me up for is I always got signed up for Sir Mix A Lot Big Butts. Okay. Couldn't get away from it. They would even torture me and make me sing Nickelback. Okay. It made me sing Nickelback. Look at this, fall then, over the ground. Yeah. yeah. Have any of us ever tried to get away from a big butt? <laughs> yeah, no. Why don't you go ahead and tell us about this guitar right here? Well, I probably don't know too much that nobody else already knows, but it is the it's an EJ200, just like the J200 of the Gibson. Right. It's the more uh, white trash version. No, I'm just kidding. It's the cheaper version. Um, but I really enjoy it. I... It's the first guitar I've ever played. I probably own 
six, seven guitars, acoustic guitars. And uh, it was the first guitar I've ever owned that I really enjoyed the way it sounded. Okay. And thoroughly enjoyed the way it looked. I love the jumbo. I love the, the cutaway. I love everything about it. Just the, the inlay, all that stuff. I just, I like the way it looks. The mustache bridge, all that stuff. It, when I seen it at Haggerty's, I yeah. was like, oh, that's, I like that guitar. I like it. And, and I kept looking at it and I'd go play other guitars and play around. And I'd end up playing it. And I'm like, man, I really do like it. And then I'd go off and play some other guitars, and I was never really looking. Right. And I kept like gravitating toward this guitar, and then okay. finally one day I'm like, "Screw it, I'm gonna do it." Uh, we'd had a good month in the band, and I was like, "I'm just gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy it." What I noticed was after I started playing it, and I owned it, I've I've never really cared to look at other guitars. It's kind of like finding a woman, and I've never really cared to look at other guitars. This That's this it. is your trigger here. It's it. Think. It was oh. it. Yep. I just. I just, I loved it. Now, since I bought it, and I knew this before, but like Jamie Johnson mm -hmm. plays this exact same guitar. Right. Book. I'm glad you brought up Jamie Johnson because I was going to mm -hmm. ask you if you get comparisons to no, Jamie Johnson. I do, we do. I get that a lot because of the beard. Barely get, bearded guy with yeah, the EJ200. Yep, yeah, yeah, I get the Jamie Johnson, the Zach Brown, Luke Combs. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sir Mix a lot. Just kidding. Just kidding. I put the. Uh, the lock on it here that's really about it okay i didn't like the way it hooked uh behind the right back in here i just didn't right. like the way it held it always wanted to lean Fall forward, forward. yeah so i moved that up there plus being a bigger guy it gave me a little bit more on my strap sure yeah it looks in truly remarkable condition for how many years on the road now? oh i think it's going on its second year a oh, second year, okay. year and a half or so it's been. Does it go in the bus around. with the rest of the things? Or? No, yeah, oh, it, uh, you. it sits in the car with us. Yeah, okay. it does. It doesn't, uh, actually, I used to just let it sit in the trailer, and then uh, I was getting harped on by everybody in the band because I, you need to take better care of that thing. Well, their harping has worked. Yeah. Because it's yep. in very nice condition. Yeah, it, it does. The The case isn't, isn't in the same. The case. They came with it's getting kind of beat up. Well, that's why they make the case. That's why they make case. You said you like the sound of this guitar. Yeah, I like that deeper that both acoustically and amplified. Yeah, actually, yeah, I really liked it acoustically. Right. What I was worried about buying it was what it would sound like amplified. Right. Does, has it given yep. you any problems with feedback more no. than the Taylor or anything? No, not really. There, there's certain places if this like if uh, production's provided for right. using our production and maybe some speakers are turned in. Um, I'll get a little buzzing on the low E, you okay. know, uh, but that's only if I'm if I'm finger picking or right. or like, you know trying to finger through a song and uh, it'll buzz when it's open. But nothing nothing bad like I can't make it through. If I could if I could convince my wife, I'd have two of them. I'd have one in my office and one for the road, oh. or or just take them both on the road. Right. right? But yeah. At, at some point, it is nice. We tell yeah. ourselves it's reassuring to have a yeah. backup. You might need it. It's, honey, he needs a second yeah. DJ two hundred. And again, the and, then, and then when we get somebody that tunes our guitars and brings them out to us, then he can have it and drop right. key, yeah, capoed correctly. You know, these are things we need. By the way, I'm applying for that job. Yeah, <laughs> by the roadie. Remember my sponsorship from Trask Hay uh, LLC, round and square bales. Uh, five one five zero eight five eight. Brandon Jones, Merry mm -hmm. Christmas. To Merry you. Christmas to you. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. I, this will probably never happen, mm -hmm. but the next time you go sing karaoke, will mm -hmm. you give me a shout? Oh yeah, for sure. I would love oh, yeah, that. Yeah, for sure. I still sing karaoke. I love it. This what I should say too is this is probably my favorite part about the guitar. Is this EJ right here? Looks like a BJ. It does. I was actually going to mention that. So it looks like... It's like a it, custom guitar. It ha Jamie Johnson says, change your strings. Yeah. Merry Christmas from all of us and Happy New Year from all of us here at Old Faithful. Thank you so much for being on the show, Brandon. Yeah, thank Ladies you. and gentlemen, thank you. Brandon Jones.
I can. I can write or sing or song I wrote for my wife. Well, kiss me all night. Ha, ha, ha. 